All right, y'all. So I'm going to keep it real. I messed up and I ordered a small personal pie. I should have ordered a regular size pie or a regular size pizza or a slice or whatever. But because I ordered the small ones, I feel like the way those cook, they just cook so quick and that they could be overcooked so easily because they're so small and the crust and edges are so close to each other that right here, I did not do Pasquale's justice. It was my fault. It was not Pasquale's fault. The staff there was lovely. The cashier, the cook there was lovely. Even the customers that were in there that were telling me about this spot was very, 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 very lovely. And, you know, they were just so in tune with the community. And I love that. So I'm definitely coming back to get a regular size pizza. I was just being cheap. Yo, 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 what to do, what to do, it's your boy girl with Mike. We are here at the second stop, going to Golden Boys Pizza. I'm walking down this goddamn alley. There ain't no goddamn parking out here in the city. You already know city parking is trife. Now, back in the day when I was young, I used to park fire hydrants, handicap joints, corner, double park right in front of stuff. But we're going to try to be more responsible and not get no tickets no more. Because uh, I didn't spend and gave the city too much just on parking tickets alone. So we put in money in the meter and uh, getting a little winded, man. But we out here, Broadway, we out here. It's a beautiful, beautiful scenery out here. Now, I'm used to coming out here drunk, on one on Broadway, just doing hella shit. I don't come out here during the day. Very rare that I come out here during the day. Not until as of lately. And even then, I'm still barely coming out here. But yeah, let's get it. Golden Boy Pizza, we're gonna get to these square pizzas. They got this little garlic joint that I'm gonna go get, you yep. Mike, we are back here. Second stop, Golden Boy Pizza. It's a spot that's been there since 1978, and my first time there was 2018. So uh, we got ourselves a regular cheese sliced pizza. I put some um, cheese on top and some peppers. Then we got the clam and garlic joint, which is hella garlicky. It's crazy. That's what they're known for. And the pesto veggie, too. I'm not going to lie. But I, I didn't want pesto today. I'll probably get a pesto at the next spot. But we, we're going to go with this one first. So their pizza is very different from a lot of other pizza just because it's like square, rectangle slices. It, it does seem to have like a thick breading on the bottom. And uh, it looks really chunky. This one is like crazy garlic. God damn. Smell it through the goddamn lens. This is, if you love garlic, you're going to love this. Next person I talk to is going to hate my breath. Mm-hmm. So, I'll be honest with you, just like the lady said there, she says at times she doesn't get this one because it's too garlicky. This is a garlic over load, man. Very, it's just... Tastes like straight garlic. I mean, of course, you can taste the cheese in there. The cheese is nice, melted, fresh. They got um, tomato-based sauce, pizza sauce under there. And it's got a lot of veggies and garlic on here. But it's really just, you just really taste the garlic on it. So if you don't like garlic like that, or if you need to go see someone, and you don't want them to smell your breath all stinky, don't get this one. But if you don't give a fuck, get it. Mm-hmm. Boom. I'm going to be honest with you. Would I get this again? Maybe not. I think it's just too garlicky. I love garlic, but this is just insane. Um, but I know a lot of people out there that love that. So 
Like I said, this is Grub with Mike. I can't grub for everybody, you know what I'm saying? I don't have your same palates and taste buds and things that you like, so I can only go for my judgment and my judgment only. Let's go for the cheese. Very simple. It's very light. Like the crust on here is very light. It looks chunky, but it's, you know, fluffy on the inside. Nice, crispy on the bottom. Um, this one tastes really plain to me. I mean, it is just a cheese, so. I like cheese pizza, but this one just seems like cheese bread. It doesn't seem like a cheese pizza. It's like more like bread. Yeah, that's cool. I feel like this one's been sitting out longer than that one because the cheese pool wasn't too crazy. Yeah. Now, when I went in 2018, I wasn't too blown away by it either. I remember my homegirl took me here. It was my first time. It was pretty cool, it was decent, but I honestly, I think I had the same reaction that I had back then. 2022, now four years later. It's all right, it's cool. Don't get me wrong, it's a legendary spot. It's rated very high on Yelp and Google like that. But in my personal opinion, it's all right. It's, it's like, it's not nothing crazy. You know, if I was around in the area, you know, and they're open, definitely, for sure. Or if like I got some friends that are out of town and they want to go here because they seen it on Yelp and Google, for sure, we there. But on a regular, when I go to Golden Boy, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is Grove with Mike's opinion. I don't speak for no one else but me and me only and my stomach and my taste bud. It's all right. It's all right. Don't hate me. Could, I mean, you guys, you guys could bash me if you guys want. You know what I'm saying? So, But, yeah, on to the next spot. We're going to go to Tony's. Tony's is probably the number one rated spot on Google and Yelp for pizza in San Francisco. So we definitely got to go there. I've never been there. I'm excited. That's one place that I'm really, really excited to go to. So let's get it. I'm getting full. I need to smoke a blunt. Yee! All right, we're going to try. I never recorded like this before, so we're going to try it out. I don't have the right setup. But it's all good. We're finna go. What pizza are we going to now? We went to Golden Boys with Squads. Oh, we're going to Tony's. Tony's pizza, man. Okay? We're going to Tony's. Oh, I'm tripping. It's right here. Ah, yes, sir. Tony's, Tony's pizza's right here, man. Okay, so we're going to leave. I'm going to go do this, man. good what it do what it do it's your boy girl with mike we are here right across the street from tony's just because tony's is full as fuck right now they ain't got no tables uh i gotta eat this shit right away i'm not trying to walk to the car you got a margarita pizza you're supposed to eat that shit right when it comes out so tony's motherfucking pizza polotana whatever the fuck you call that shit man tony's pizza you go you feel me we got the whole jizz on right here you see the cheese the basil on there the crust is going crazy ridiculous so we're gonna get to it right now it's very thin see it's a very thin ass slice it's very different from all these other pizzas which i'm not gonna lie I, i've been loving these kind of pizzas lately
It's going insane. It's chewy. It's doughy. It's crispy on the edges. You got the crispy edges right here. Very simple. You're really just tasting the, the sauce, the cheese with the basil touch on there. It's amazing. This is this is probably my favorite pizza and my favorite kind of pizza too. So can't go wrong. Really just going crazy. Very simple. No tricks, no games. The sauce just got all the flavor in it. The fucking cheese is magnificent. Nicely melted, so warm, so fresh. Just came out the oven. I ain't gonna lie, I'm tired of the pizza that I was raised on. Like, just cause I've had it so much that this is like a breath of fresh air. I'm definitely gonna come to Tony's a lot more. I've never been to Tony's. It's my first time. I think they said they've been open since 2009. Fire. So now, we're gonna get to the pepperoni joint. Look at this one. Feel me, all the pepperonis cupped up because it's been cooked. It just looks lovely, very crispy. It's a very big slice. Um, this one is definitely not the same type of pizza as the other one. Mm-hmm. Got a little oil. This basically makes an oil pocket where it catches all the oil. The top of the pepperoni is a little crispy. So it makes a little pocket they, they put some sort of seasoning on there some greens maybe oregano i could be wrong a little oily as you can see there's a little flop there but it's very thick you know what i'm saying it can hold itself when you do the when you do the fold i ain't gonna lie best piece i had all day two thumbs up from girl with mike i didn't even know no peppers, no cheese, no ranch. Everything here just tastes very fresh. I like the dough on both of them. But that kind of pizza is very more doughy, more chewy, very thin layer. Um, there's like a little bit of charred spots on there, like throughout the pizza. But that one is just really about the cheese, the sauce, and the simplicity of it. And the chewiness of it, I just love. This pizza right here, this one is the perfect mix of, got a little hang time, but if you support it a little bit, it's sturdy, you feel me? That's, that to me, the way they cook this, the texture of it, it's like um, kinda chewy, kinda crispy, a little bit of doughy, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not overcooked to where the bottom just tastes like hella crust and hella crispy, kind of burnt. I think they did just this perfect. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the best pepperoni slices that I've had in a while. Tony's, two thumbs up, Girl with Mike approved. I'm definitely coming back. You definitely just gained another customer. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm sweating over here. I'm in a black hoodie with the sun beaming on me, so we out.
at Serrano's. Uh, we're here on 21st Street. Um, I got myself a pepperoni, cheese, and sausage, and this is my go-to every time I go here. Pepperoni, cheese, sausage. Um, it's a very thick crust, you know what I'm saying? Very big slice. So this is called a slice, but they cut it into two, and it's really, you could save one for now, save one for later, because I'm not gonna lie, the crust on here is very thick. And um, we got pepperoni, um, sausage, pizza, and what I always do, I said pizza, and cheese, what I always do, I put red peppers on top with the cheese on top and a little bit of oregano. It looks hella nice, looks hella good. And then because the crust is so thick, I always get like a ranch on there. So ranch is just, I don't know, growing up, I always had ranch with my pizza. So we're gonna see right here. This ranch is lovely. Um, I'm, I need to go get some napkins real quick. So I'm about to go tear this joint off. Really, I never tear it off. I just eat it together. So boom, it's a very, I gotta hold it up. It's not gonna hold up, it's gonna flop down. It's hella oily, hella cheesy, crust. It's like hella thick on there, you feel me? That's Mando. Every time. Every time at Serrano's, man, they do not disappoint. Everything is fresh. Everything is flavorful. The sauce is great. The crust is, it's a thick crust on the end, but throughout the shit, it's kind of doughy. The only thing that's crispy is the bottom, but the inside layer is like nice and doughy. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you just need an oily pizza, and this is probably like one of the oiliest ones that I had today, but the flavor on here is smacking with the ranch. Smacking every time. Sausage, pepperoni, can never go wrong. I always add the peppers, cheese, and a little bit of oregano. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little, <laughs> feel me? But yeah, this is a go-to every time I go here. Um, I usually never finish the whole slice. I usually save it. I really come back to this maybe one time, maybe two sometimes. The end crust part, I always save the ranch and I leave a little cheese at the end. And dip it in there is hella good, fire. And the thing about this is, is that it's cheap. Um, what I, I, I got this, that's a big slice of pizza. It's the chunkiest pizza that I have today, probably. The most dense pizza that I have today. I got this and the off-brand Sprite for 11 bucks. Oh, with the ranch too. But yeah, man, Toronto's, I'm not gonna lie, is my personal go-to. My new favorite is Tony's. But my personal go-to for anybody that just wants to have a good pizza that, you know, it's not hyped, it's not, you know what I'm saying, it's not boof, this is a go-to spot. Like, the crust is very crispy at the bottom, but it's not, like, burnt, and it's not just flat. It has a lot of texture in between that. The cheese on there is hella cheesy, melted, it's fresh. They make it here. It's not like pizza that's already made and they throw it inside. They make it all fresh. The sauce in there is not, not too crazy, but it's just perfect. The sauces are pepperoni. You know, it's just, come on, man. It's just a well put together pizza that's not hyped up. And that's not even, it's really, I don't even think this is a popular spot. This is like not a low key spot, but compared to the other spots that I went to, this is definitely like the least popular spot that I've been to. Mm-hmm. Got a little hang time throughout the middle. I mean, at the end, was definitely hang time, oily. Not gonna lie, this is what you need on a drunk night. This will bring you back. Well, I'm done. I can't do this no more. I went to four spots. My first spot that I went to was at 12 o'clock. It's 2.48 right now. 
So I went to three spots, had a hella pizza. I got hella pizza in my car. I'm about to show y'all. But yeah, Serrano's. Today, if I had to rate all of them, in order for my opinion, Grubble Mike opinion, I would put, um, I'll put Tony's number one. Number two, I'll put Serrano's. Number three, I will put Pasquale's. And then number four, I will put Golden Boy. And that's just my personal opinion. I don't know what anyone else feels. Um, I'm sure people feel different and it's all good. Grubble Mike, that's my opinion. Let's get it. I appreciate y'all for fucking with me and rocking with me throughout this uh, journey. I'm definitely trying to get you guys more and more content. Please leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, I'm just trying to get it cracking, man. You know, I eat all the time. I mean, it's, it's getting fucked up. I need to start working out. I need to start hiking again, start taking CMOS, doing juicing and fucking ginger shots, turmeric shots, drinking tea, drinking water, dropping the, the red meat, the pork, the fast food, like, I ain't gonna lie, I did that like eight months in COVID. I lost hella weight. I don't know how much weight. I think like 42 pounds or something like that. I was hiking Mission Peaks like every, no cap. Like the most I've done it was four times in a week, but I, I at least did it minimum two to three times a week. I was eating good. I was making food at home. I was eating wheat bread, brown rice, no white rice. This girl with Mike shit gonna be the death of me, man. Time to go roll the fuck up. I'm up and out of here, man. Uh.